And we're live. We're live. Hello, everybody. It's Carol and Lisa at the Cat Rescue in Tampa. And it's a very warm one today. Yeah, says it yeah I think the humidity must be really high because it feels warmer than it is. She even said it feels like walking around in soup. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good description, yes. And I was telling Carol I always feel so bad um, that I sit in the cart next to her because she's always so fresh and lovely and I'm like sweaty and gross and dirty and <laughs> I always feel kind of bad sitting so close, but I guess that's part of being a keeper, right? Yeah. You, 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 we're all wearing masks. <laughs> yeah, you'd be suspicious if a keeper's shirt is too clean, um, clean, right? And you haven't done your work for the day. So the big excitement today was I saved a frog that was sitting on the side of Zucari's water dish in his lockout. So I had to drop the door and get that frog to safety oh, <laughs> before yeah. Zucari got there. <laughs> never a dull moment here. You never know what you're going to come across in your day. So I'm going to be singing to Jinx today because I miss all the fun events that happen during the week. Um, and there was Black Cat Day on Tuesday, so I wanted to be sure I didn't let that go without giving him a song. So we'll make up for it today. And I actually sang this song to him uh, back on Halloween. So if you're a regular watcher, then um, I apologize for repeating myself, but it's a great song for him, so. We'll have to play them side by side so that it's like you got your own harmonies on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know, and I keep flying back here, but I don't know that he's back here. Do you know where he and is? And hard to tell where he is at this moment. Oh, no, I thought I saw, but now I'm not sure. That's the problem with a black leopard, you know? <laughs> they can blend into the shadows really well, which is why they have that... Um, as one of their characteristics in the wild. Uh, I used to give tours here uh, back, you know, it feels like forever, the pre-COVID days. And I used to tell people all the time about him because they like to believe in Black Panthers oh. and to kind of, you know, be a myth buster. And actually, I'm going to drive on down and see if we yeah. see him before we haul all this equipment. So he's actually a really, really dark, like chocolate brown and he has spots because that's um, melanistic in leopards and jaguars, so they always have the spots under that black fur. And there's actually no such thing as a black panther because a panther would be like a cougar or a puma or a mountain lion. So, you know, nature is very smart and only keeps the um, characteristics that work for survival. So if you're living in the rainforest and you're hunting at dusk and you're a black leopard, it all works pretty well because you can creep around in the shadows and not be found, which is kind of what Jinx is doing right now <laughs> as we're trying to find him. And then the opposite side of that is people thinking that white tigers are a natural event. They're not. Um, there is no such thing as a, a naturally occurring white tiger in the wild because tigers live where that would give them away and not be good camouflage. All right. Carol's gone the hunt for Jinx, so she'll be right back. So let me just see who's out there. Hello, Lori. Hello, Cynthia, it looks like. Yeah. And Nikki. Oh, I think we found a black leopard. That's a good thing, because you wouldn't want to say we didn't find a black leopard in here. <laughs> That's when you start to worry. All right, I'm going to pass that off to you. We will go take a peek at him while she gets set up. Where did you go? Where did you go? There is a sneaky black leopard. That's sneaky sneaky. Yeah, hi. Um, wherever you... Oh, okay. Right here. He's like, I'm hiding behind this one single fern here. You can't see me. <laughs> What has she got? Yeah, that is so interesting.
Valerie, I think the name Black Panther got shortened from Black Panthera to Black Panther, but it became politically incorrect to call them that back in the 60s during the Black, Black, Black Panther movement. And so they're now referred to as either Black Leopards or Black Jaguars. Facing me, thank I you. you. I see you, you know. I see your eyes. All right, so as I said, this is a, a little bit of a reprise from back in Halloween. This is called that old black magic. <laughs> oh, perfect. I should stay away, but what can I do? I hear your name, and I'm a flame. A flame with such a burning desire that only you can put up a fire. Oh, you're the lover I have waited for. Spin. I'm loving that spin I'm in. I'm under that old black magic called love. <laughs> I love it. He had a spider web over one of his eyes. It was like, that would have been perfect for Halloween. <laughs> to see uh, yeah, Carol put the camera on him so you got to watch him during the song and it's not like super sunny back here so I don't know if you could make out his spots through his fur but anyway they are definitely there uh, so you learned a little something about black cats today in the wild so always try to educate as well as entertain as I say like the two hats that I wear 
So we are both actually going to be gone next week. Um, my daughter is getting married Saturday. Well, congratulations. Ohio, and thank you. And those of you that know the book of Forever Home, she's um, Veronica, who is the illustrator of that book. So that's my daughter who's getting married. So I a different Veronica. We don't have yeah. a baby together. <laughs> <laughs> I will be away, and Carol's going to be doing exciting things with probably the conservation game, right? Yeah. So anyway, we will have a bye week, and then we will see you again in September. So have a perfectly awesome two weeks. And we'll see you then. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lisa.